Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mars Hunter Frontier Z with your favorite Dark Lord Deathmite Studio and today we are finally going to take on the Kirin. I've pondered about it for a long time then figure out what weapon would be the most appropriate. I know man, we fight on the tower. Him? Eh? Not quite sure. But anyway guys, let's jump right into it. Kieran, interesting fact about Kieran, Kieran is actually the first monster to show the fact that the Elder Dragon class was not a, a description of the physical, of its physical appearance, making you an Elder Dragon class. Just because a creature is large, does not mean it's an Elder Dragon class. Skin shouldn't be. Skin shouldn't be this hard. Too early on. I know later on with his variants, he starts getting things like flash steps, which can get really out of hand on large lightning AOEs combined with the paralysis. Ugh. Can do some real nasty things. But <clears throat> today, oh. Nice try, remote, bro. Nice try. I wonder if they ever think of giving him something to do with the Thunderbugs. Well, there he is, in all his majestic glory. It's a pretty big horse. He actually can get, like, really big with some of his hair. And that is something you just gonna have to recognize. Oh! This is the problem with Kieran getting in close range. It's the problem with most Elder Dragons from all the Mars Sunday. It's not really the power that's gonna set you off, it's actually getting close enough to do anything about it. And when he starts glowing that intense white, he's already in our age. The reason why they send you to do in this version, in Marshawn of Frontier Z, why they send you the Shadow Dragon so early on, because you will be facing things that are much, much more powerful. Elder Dragon Clan, like G rank Elder Dragon, is like the strongest thing you usually get in the mainline series. You go well far beyond that. In front here, you, you go way beyond Elder Dragon Clan. So even have some unique variants, such as the Origin and Burst Speed. Honestly, I think I might have got, I should have gone with the hammer and see if I could just break the hammer. The hammer would have made the horn very really easy. You have to, you can't really stay up all on him, that's the biggest problem with him. Because he can't cast lightning on himself just to get you off his butt. And he will do that. The charging attack isn't that high. And I haven't really got hit with paralysis yet. He can paralyze, KO, and knock, knock you out. But at least he doesn't have the lightning blight at this stage. But, whoo! The higher rank. The higher rank lightning blight is much worse than this extreme lightning blight. It's a lot worse. Good. 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 See a Nazi right there when he starts to put it on himself so he can attack him. 
it's actually a great strategy if you don't, you know, move. That's another thing I you notice know, some people have problems with this game, like I've tried before to bring people to this game. Is that you have to get used to the movement. Because if you don't move and block, you will constantly get hit like that. See, I was getting greedy. Oh, speedy, he has a gift from the world. Wow, Kieran, take it all away. See, even this little charge right there does a ridiculous amount of damage. It's the chip damage that will get you, especially if you don't pay attention to it. I wanted to go for the jump attack, but I did. Failed an input. I should not be standing there. Dodge through the lightning. Don't run away from the lightning. Dodge through the lightning. Ooh, that was cool. Oh no, that's a center. He has two different ways he likes to find his lightning in this version of the game. Well, that's only for this version. Eventually he gets things like insta runs, flash death, and he moves much faster. Um, right now this is more of me taking advantage of the lore and clearing just for gear. That doesn't mean his health is any less impressive, surprisingly. I never understand what made a Kieran, like what can get you a Kieran tail. I know you just have to break the horn, get the horn, but the tail is an odd drop for me. I don't quite understand how you get it. I don't know if you can break the tail or if you just have to hit it a bunch. That would make sense. See, once you see the lightning hit on your side, it's a very weird mechanic. See, there's a pattern to it. Turret. To it. Jeez. English. Wow! I actually do that in six minutes. That's insane! I haven't been able to do that for a long time. Because I fought G on here and man. Oof. Finally G on here for horns. I did I still might get a horn. See that's the Thunder Tail. Still might get a horn from the awards if I'm lucky. But I doubt I did enough damage. It's not broken yet. That's unfortunate. I was going to make a new set of lightning weapons to help me out with the monster that's actually right behind her that you guys will be seeing in the next video. In fact, you're going to see me fight it twice in the video and the video after that. It has a, a particular variant. Darn it. I was hoping to get some free Dragonite. See, look at that, that's three horns, and I didn't even break the horn. It's because this is mostly what you're gonna get off for, don't worry, in the higher ranks, you're gonna have to work for those horns. And you're probably not even going to get it. That's the shameful part of the whole thing. But anyway, guys. If you liked the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And hit that notification bell for more Moss Hunter Frontier content. And remember always, 
have a great hunt.